Hey guys, Nova Explosion, welcome to more Tales of Graces. I had to start it up before it started playing the opening. Graces is like that. Anyway, I played a lot off screen, so playtime might be... Well, a lot is probably an overstatement. But, um, I played, like, for, like, I don't know, an hour or so off screen. Um, all I really did was I got a jump on some in request. So, um, I actually... Hang on, I have a notepad here. Of how I made some of the stuff because I didn't want to just make it and turn it in I wanted to share how I made it just so like people are wondering how did I get these in requests done but I want to move the in request at a really solid pace so I didn't want to just report them but I also want to have them done so we can um move the post game at a at a leisurely pace basically so as you can see i have uh some of them already done i'll explain how i made all of this stuff i wasn't able to get baronas done however i don't think i can get another lovely ribbon until zone cage i'll explain more about that when we get the zone cage but the bottom line is i can't get another lovely ribbon right now so we're gonna have to put that one on hold this is done this is done basically we need to go to every single town miso stew isn't quite done yet however I, uh, I leveled up the shop. I leveled up the shop in, well, what's the place? Telesastu. I leveled up Telesastu's shop, and you can buy miso. So I'll be able to probably find a way to make miso once I buy, once I buy more miso. Arms Fangs is done. And again, when I go to each town, I'll talk about how I did this stuff. But yeah, as you can see, all of this is done. So I'm just going to start reporting. And I'll talk a little bit about, um, other stuff while I do that. Also, another thing I did, I'll point it out when we do it, there was a side quest you need like certain crystals or something. I made sure to get those crystals. I I have to set up my elf mixer. I have a bunch of materials. I was like making rare metals, core fragments, torn pages. I was just like trying to make as many materials as possible to make things move a little faster. So yeah, I don't want the I don't want the post game to be like, hey, we gotta go grind for this item or something. It's fun to do while we're doing other stuff, but it'll get boring. You know, like, I can imagine it'll get boring for some people. Um, but anyway, so, Fame and Faith, it's a noble quality. Again, I don't really know much about the qualities, like, how to make qualities. Just, like, you know, get a bunch of shards, try stuff out. I'm sure the internet has an answer of how you can make a noble quality. But if not, just try to make stuff. For Fame and Faith, you need to merge a Steel Saber, which I think you buy in Barona's shop. Don't quote me on that, but... A Steel Saber and a Dark Shine Crystal. So, those are the two things I use to make the fame and faith. Um, but let me report it. That one's been there for quite a while. Um, Double Cheeseburger, I used a hamburger and a cheeseburger. And I think to make a hamburger, you, I use like Salisbury steak and onion. And cheeseburger, I think I mix like a burger with cheese, oh, uh, like a hamburger with cheese or something. I don't remember exactly for that one, but it shouldn't be a hard Google search. Let me look at titles here. I don't want everyone to just dump this to random stuff. But yeah, I didn't really... I barely, like, I wouldn't really call it playing. All I did was, like, I gathered materials. Like, I did no combat. I just tried to get materials so we can, like, speed along the end request. Because we still have a good bit to do. And we we still have other stuff to do in the post game, But I do not want the end of the playthrough to be like, Hey, in request, in request. We have to grind these materials, etc. So, that is... The reasoning for that uh let me put you at special roar depth but yeah so i'm gonna report the cheeseburger one the double cheeseburger 7900 sp and a red sage let's go everyone mastered something all right so lot is good for now barona we're not gonna be able to do unfortunately because i have to wait for zone cage i'll explain what that means later oh another thing i um <laughs> a lot of things i know um, there's a new car that in the shop. I leveled up Grailside shop, like, unintentionally. We have Luke's car that here. So, Luke's car that is available. So, we're just gonna buy that. I'm the ambassador. Which is something that Luke says pretty early in Tales of the Abyss. Uh, let me get that shrimp. And let me go report this knight armor. What did I use to make knight armor? To make knight armor, I used... Oh, right, leather guard, which you buy in Barona. And sea scale crystal, which I don't remember the recipe for, but again, it's not hard to Google search. Uh, report this. All done. So next we're going to Ul Ray. And for Ul Ray, I think the two things I used were um 
The two things I needed were Stinky Bag and Ice Coffin, a sketchy quality. The Ice Coffin was a weapon I actually never even got in the playthrough, which is shocking to me. I was surprised that I didn't even get the Ice Coffin, but lo and behold, I haven't. It, this, it's the first time I've gotten it. But um, to make this, you use a Battle Sword and a Glacier Fall Crystal. I remember, I think Glacier Fall Crystal is Icicle and Rare Metal? Or is it Icicle and Common Metal? One of the two. One of the two. It's either Icicle and Rare Metal or Icicle and Common Metal. One of the two, I don't remember. But um, that's how I made that. Oh, Hamburger's here. Alright, well. Oh, you know what? I probably saw this and I had the Hamburger, so I didn't bother listing this. Alright. Or, or this just came. I doubt it just came, though. And for Stinky Bag, I used, um, what did I use? Glow Fruit and Caustic, which I don't remember the recipes for, but nothing a little dualized book and Google search can't fix. Um, let me see. Sable Zole? I think every town has a request to report. Cat's Corner might, too. I'm gonna grab a torn page while I'm here. Also, I'm hoping I can make more materials while I'm roaming. Oh, another thing I should do? I should actually go to Cat's Corner before Telus asked you, because there's an item that needs the Cat Shop to be... I got Rare Metal, nice. There is a item in Telus asked you's, um... Telus asked you's, uh, request. You need the Cat's Corner Shop level 4, so we'll probably go to Cat's Corner after this, just so I can get that item, and then I'll have to make, like, two trips. Soft stone, I did dangerous liquid and earthen pot. Pretty basic materials, not super basic materials, but like not hard to find. Like it shouldn't be too hard. Like just try some stuff out if you really can't and Google search it. I'm gonna go to Cat's Corner really quick. I'm also gonna go to Marcian Enclave last because the Marcian Enclave, we're gonna start with Shock Cube. That's gonna be the first thing we do. Shock cube, and then we gotta do the sand trout ruins, and then whatever remaining quest. Uh, do you guys have any requests? I don't remember. Right, miso. I bought a lot of miso. We also have the kitchen knife. This is obtained from shock cube, so we're gonna get that later. Uh, report this, and then report this. And we wanna level up the shop. We're at stamp level two. This is doable. We just gotta level this up a little bit. I don't think you could buy equipment here, can you? So I'm gonna have to, like, sell stuff, I guess? Honestly, it's a low level, and we don't really need a high level, so it shouldn't be long before we get this up to four. I don't want to sell, like, I don't want to sell super high stuff, because I want to save that for later. I'm gonna need this for a request, so I'm not going to do that. I will sell this rune, these two rune guards. Five stamps, awesome. That's a lot. I'm going to sell that for something later. Uh, I guess I'll sell Mithril and Rare Guard because we have the vestments now. Oh, so close. I like the way the uh, Cat's Corner stamp looks. That's neat. Really matches Cat's Corner. Uh, I guess I'll sell Elder Robe. These stamps. So we need four more. I'm just going to sell like one more decently priced armor. Rare Tunic. That'll do it. And we can buy Glass Sphere. Uh, give me one. And that should do it for the Telesasty request. Again, we'll be back for Winner Trophy, because Winner Trophy is what we uh, get from Shock Cube. Alright, what's next on the list? Warrior's Roost. I'm gonna go Warrior's Roost, Telesasty, and then a Marcian Enclave, because a Marcian Enclave, we're doing Shock Cube. Ba -ba 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 then we have the Garm's Fangs. To make Garm's Fang, I use uh, Garm's Fangs. I used Rune Gauntlets, which, you know, easy enough to get. You buy them from a shop. I don't remember which one, but, like, it's not hard to find. Like, they're the basic shop gauntlets from, like, it's either Odra or Fendel. And I also used a um, regular crystal, which I don't remember how to make a regular crystal. But that's what I did. Rune Gauntlets and Rig Rigler Crystal. Uh, report this. Alright. Two more stops for in request for now. And obviously if more are added and I can report them, I'll report them. But we are probably done focusing on in request. 
until the post game and by post game i mean like after the main arc because I, i've talked about i'm gonna divide this playthrough like this is still the main arc once we see the ending of the game this that'll be we'll be in the post game once we see the ending of the main arc and then lineage and legacies will be done after zone cage the Krius dragons the cameo battle etc and the uh inverquest boss as well green scarf again zone cage if you can't get the um if you don't have any like scarves unique equipment so scabbards anklets scarves ribbons colognes and what does hubert wear frames if you don't have any of those then wait till zone cage because zone cage is going to have floors that are dedicated to getting different kinds of unique equipment so like the lovely ribbon i don't have one on me but zone cage will be able to solve that problem so i got a card out. i'm gonna look at what that is in a second and that's done. And then data recorders from the humanoid quest. So we'll get that done very shortly. Patty's Carta. A villain like him. I don't like Patty very much. She's fun to play as, but as a character, I find her annoying. Uh, and finally, the Marcian Enclave. And then we'll dive straight into Shock Cube. We'll get some content going. Instead of just roaming back and forth. I definitely wanted to at least report um like the request on screen and at least tell you guys how i got them uh and then for here we have three requests i think how did i make heavenly ore heavenly ore i made with damascus steel which is pretty it's not it's a pretty basic dualize item like you can figure it out it's not that hard and legendary metal and legendary metal is the discovery found in lambda's cocoon so that's how i got that Rainbow Lens, All Seeing Eye, and Fine File. I do not remember how I got either of them. Fine File is a really basic, I think it's like a basic ingredient. All Seeing Eye is a little more complex, so that one you're going to have to Google search if you want to know. And the Frenzy Rod, I did Rune Shot Staff and Possessed Crystal. And if I'm not mistaken, Possessed Crystal was... What was it? Porn Page and something? I can actually look right now. It was Torn Page. It's here. Core Fragment. Core Fragment and Torn Page. Oh, we have 91%. That's actually really close. I would love to get this complete. At least the items were so close. We'll see what happens, though, at the end of the playthrough. So, there you go. That's all the in requests I did off screen. And now we're going to just dive into Shock Cube. I want to finish. I think we're on like level 8 or something. I want to finish up Shock Cube because we get the winner. Oh, more rare metal. I'll change the Elit setup uh, once we're doing like battles. Like when we do Guardia Shaft probably. Play Shock Cube. So we are going to continue off. Oh, we only have these two. I'm assuming Stage 12 comes later. Let's just dive in. But anyway. Alright. I'm a little rusty here. Put this here. Goes what I do. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I did that. Actually, no, this is fine. Maybe. It might be wrong. It'll take a few attempts. That's just how this goes. I don't think this is gonna work, but like normal, this takes a few attempts to. I can't get that one, so yeah, I gotta reset this. Bum, 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 bum. I can't reach that one. All right, <laughs> reset again. Bum, bum, bum. That one's gonna go all the way there. Try pushing this one up. These, like, need to go in. Yeah. 
Ideally, I think I'm gonna want these in the middle. This one on the top right, I think. And then this one in the center of the top row. Don't I just do this? Push this here. If I push this, then the top one can go in the on the top right like I want it. And then this can go in the center. Yeah, okay. I think I got this. And then we're gonna wanna do this, and then up there and down there. Alright. Not bad. Took a little outside of the box thinking, but not too bad. Clear. Let's try rank 3. Stage 11. And I think the other one's like Final Challenge. I think Final Challenge is the, um, what's it called? Bum, 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 bum. Maybe put this down so those can go in the center, since they're already together. That'll make it easier. And we have a row up here, which I can try? Okay, so if I push this one down, then that's gonna block this. This one won't be able to go anymore. Interesting. This one clearly goes in the, like, where it is now. There's no way I'm going to be able to get this anywhere else. So I'm going to just reset. Do that. Oh, you can make, uh, you can make materials while doing this. That's so neat. What do I do here? Because this one, if I push that one down, then this one's... Oh, wait, I'm dumb. <laughs> Because you can push them together. I forget you can do that. I gotta take more advantage of that. And then we push this right here. Alright, that one wasn't so hard. I, I was just an idiot for a little bit. It's fine, it happens. Yo, Mithril Shot Staff. I'm doing the final challenge. I'm not stopping now. So give me the winner's trophy. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Push this one down so we can get a little closer. Now let me think here. Ideally, this one's gonna go in the uh, rightmost column. Right? Like, that would make sense. I think I could try pushing this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, and then do this, and then we'll have our bottom row. Oh, but then this one can't go. Alright, I think I had to push that one first. The one in the bottom. Let me reset. Boom, 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 boom. I did this, right? Right, this one needs to go first, because then that one won't be able to fit. Oh, maybe not, though, because then this one can't go. Down? I'm gonna need to put these two together, probably. Okay, do this. Push this one up, but then we gotta be a little careful how we do this. I guess we can try this. Just to get them out of that corner. Not corner, the whatever you would call that. This one up, then that one to the right? Or not the right, the left? I swear I can tell my rights and lefts. Okay, and then we, um... We do this. And then it doesn't matter which one we do here. Alright. What a fun little minigame. Congratulations. 
Final challenge, clear bonus. Got the rare shot staff and the winner's trophy, which is for an in request. Good stuff. That's a fun minigame. I like it. 